Okay, can na? Okay, Dr. Okay, hi. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, sorry, just now I couldn't, uh, the computer had some problem. That's why the presentation I had to delay. Okay, I'm Dr. Sulo here from Pusa Sajatra. Would like to present uh, and uh, represent my pengarah, Dr. Namala, about health services and facility in Pusa Sajatra. First of all, selamat datang and welcome to all the new students. Hope everyone is excited to study in USM. Good luck, guys. Slide clear. Okay, uh, these slides consist of our about location of Pusat Sejahtera, our vision, mission, health services in Pusat Sejahtera, student admission to campus, medical checkup, fees for medical services in Pusat Sejahtera, panel clinics for students and emergency in campus and also in a hostel. Okay, as we know, we are now facing a pandemic situation where we have to be always aware and sensitive to the SOP as stated, as stated by our ministry. I believe that everyone do understand about the difference in between of PKPB, where it is called CMCO, Conditional Movement Control Order. PKPD is MCO, Enhanced Movement Control, and PKPDB, T. Temco by stages or at targeted enhanced movement control order at high risk localities or entire district. Okay, this is uh, here and a bit of um, prevention of uh, our new norm now. Um, okay, uh, for example, avoid close contact like sh shaking hands, hugging and extra. Social distancing, wash hands frequently with soap, rub with sanitizer, cover your mouth or nose while sneezing. Okay, this is our location, Pusat Sejahtera Kesihatan and Pergigian. Unit Kesihatan, Kesihatan and Pergigian Campus Kejuruteraan, Engineering Campus. Eh? Okay, uh, about our VC and MISI, that means vision and mission of Pusat Sejahtera. Our vision is to prosperous the university community from the physical, mental, spiritual, and social aspect to fulfill the university's aspiration goal towards excellence and sustainability. And about the mission, we would like to provide a comprehensive and continuous focus on the aspects of prevention, treatment, rehabilitation, and resources management for the well-being of university residents. Okay, the facility, uh, health facility in uh, our under USM consists of Pusa Sejahtera as in, camp in campus and then the medical unit in engineering campus Nibong Tabal where it's situated in Nibong Tabal and IPPT Bertam located in Bertam, HUSM, uh, it's a hospital, USM in Kubang, Kerian, Kelantan. For the management wise, uh, I would explain further about Pusat Sejahtera Campus Indo, that means in campus and also the engineering campus. Okay, medical services in Pusat Sejahtera and engineering unit consist of outpatient, where we are covering triage, pre consultation, clinical emergency, and medical checkup. And we also have pharmacy, dental, radiology, lab, physio, and admin. But for our unique kejurutraan, that, mean, that means engineering campus, we don't have radiology and physio. Okay, the waktu perikmatan, that means time that we are operating. Before this, before the pandemic situation, uh, we do operate the, there are some time changes when weekdays we operate 8 to 9 p.m. Weekends 8 to 6 p.m. where we do accept all the emergency cases. And for the information that's delayed gerakan, we operate 8 to 5 p.m. during weekdays and weekend is 8 to 5 p.m. over the weekends. Okay. 
Okay, what are the facilities we offered in Pusat Sejahtera and Engineering Campus? The treatment consists of consultation, examination and treatment, referral, minor surgery, and then uh, lab and radiology services for further investigation or as required, procedures like toilet and suturing and dressing, dental consultation and treatment consist of scaling tooth extraction, extraction, advanced treatment where required some medical fees like crowning, operation and extra. And for the prevention, uh, medical checkup surveillance, vaccination, obesity cleaning, and uh, to stop smoking and also counseling for diabetic patients. We also have provide, uh, start providing and extended our facilities to teleconsultation, app Sajatra CTU, medication for stage and drive through to facilitate our patients to smoothen the process, especially during this pandemic situation. And these are the some information where uh, you can jot down this, our contact information of Pusat Sejahtera consists of email address, Facebook, Instagram, telephone number, and also the address. Okay, for the flow chart to fill up Borang A through campus online, Maybe it could be a bit tiny. The flow chart is tiny, but I will explain further about this. Okay, it starts from the school where the school will inform the entry and exit date to fill up the Borang A through campus online. Student has to log in according to their schools. Go to Borang A page. Student has to fill up an exit date as fixed by the schools with required information. Then the students able to click send. After they send the form, it will be sent the school accordingly. The head of the school will approve the date is filled where they will check whether it's filled accurately as given by the school, then will pass over to nerve center. Nerve center either will reject or accept if it doesn't fulfill the criteria or change the date and approve it and pass it to Pusa Sajatra. Student has to fill up the declaration form and then print. Okay, this is the flow chart of first year degree student where we will meet them at the checkpoint of Kad at Padang Kawat. We'll check on temperature and we'll pass over the Borang A. Asymptomatic patients will be given welcome kit, wristband by medical staff who is in charge, will be given a green tag. And then will be sent to isolation block for 10 days. They will be discharged at day 11. For the symptomatic patients, they will be assessed further by Pusat Sejahtera. Okay, now it's about the medical checkup in Pusat Sejahtera. Medical checkup formulations can be performed in any medical center and has to be countersigned by our USM doctors. International students are compulsory to go through in USM. So all international students are compulsory to go through under health medical examination at Pusat Sejahtera. For the medical services and dental services, for medical, uh, for international students, they will be charged accordingly. Listed treatment formulation students are covered with their medical fees. International students, International students have to bear their medical treat, treatment cost accordingly. So that means the Malaysian students, uh, it will be covered with their medical fees and the international students will be covered according, I mean, they have to bear their cost. Students are able to access panel clinics under USM through this official website. Okay, this is the flow chart where how we handle the emergency cases. 
in the hostel. Cases will be informed to warden, and then warden has to inform to the keselamatan. Keselamatan will call doctor on call. Stable cases will discuss by the doctor on call over the phone, or will attend the cases to the hostel or the incident place. Patients who are not stable, the doctor on call has to attend while calling the ambulance. Okay, this is the end of the slides. Thank you. All right, Doctor. Uh, there is a question here. Does the medical benefit extended to student immediate family members? Sorry, you speak for a while. Give me a minute. You want to stop? Okay. Uh, yes, your question, please. Okay, uh, there is a question in the chat box, if you can refer. Um, the question is, does the medical benefit extended to students' immediate family members? Uh, you mean for Malaysians or international students? For both. Uh, no, we only um, attend the family members during emergency or at particular situations. Okay, so there will be a benefit extended also to the family members or they need to pay or why? Yeah, they need to pay us. Uh, no, it is not extended. So meaning that our medical benefit only goes to the students, right? Yes, correct. Okay, um, from Ms. Akina, uh, she asked, do students at Science at KL do get an get any of those medical benefits also? Sorry, again? Do our students at Science at KL get any of those medical benefits also? Yes, they are eligible. All right. Just to add up to it, uh, Ms. Akina, for those who are in a different campus, for example, if you are in Science at KL, so you have to come to Penang or to Health Campus, or to any facilities available or panel clinic to get the medical uh, benefit. All right, so it shouldn't be any problem. And okay, um, there is a question regarding Borang A from Maurice. Basically, uh, you will get the further details on how to fill up the form on how to submit the form during your school briefing session. Because the, the one that Dr. Sulo mentioned just now, it is a general for every student. But if you refer to your campus online, there will be a Form A menu. So you can fill up the Form A in order for you to enter the campus if you are required to enter campus. If your program for this semester is online, so you don't have to enter the campus, all right? Sorry, I answer on your behalf, doctor. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And then... Sorry, the line is not that clear. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then um, for local student, can the countersign of USM doctor be done online if we get the medical checkup at private clinic? Uh, well, basically, Fu Ying Ying, uh, you don't have to countersign because we will accept that. It shouldn't be any problem. Only for international students. Like I mean, yes, international students, correct? Yes, yes. Not for Malaysians. Mm -hmm. Okay, Putri Sharafina asks, can you share the panel clinic in KL or Selangor? Where they can get the panel clinic list, doctor? Official website from the Bahagian Sumber. Sumber manusia. Student can access to that? Yes. Yes, can. Okay, can you give us the link in the chat box so that student can refer to the link? Thank you. Okay. 
And yes. Okay, can student do their medical checkup at Pusat Sejahtera for this coming intake? What is your advice? Can they do the medical checkup at this current situation or they can do outside? So which one is better? We do perform medical checkup. All right, so there will be no restriction for student to come in during this time. I don't think so. <laughs> student no, <will> not. <laughs> yes, yes. So, will they be able to do the medical checkup right now? Yes, we do perform medical checkup, but not in a huge crowd or we are not allowing everyone to come in together, but we do perform. Okay, if let's say they are not a student yet, how they can enter USM to go to Pusat Sejahtera? Yes. How? How they can enter USM? They are not a student yet at the moment. And right. want to do medical checkup. How they can go to Pusat Sejahtera by passing the guide? If not, they will be... No, if they are not registered, no. Okay. Can you hear me? Meaning that, they are not a student, no. Okay. So meaning that they are not able to do the medical checkup at the moment in order for them to complete the registration. But future, if they want to do medical checkup during their study period, it is possible for them to do that at Pusat Sejahtera. Is that what you mean? Yes, yes. That's what I mean. Correct, okay. correct. Okay, thank you. And okay, for medical checkup, do they just uh, walk in or they need to do appointment? They have to make appointment. Okay, uh, how they can do that? With our medical staff, uh, with our have, medical person who is in charge, they have to call. They have to call or they have to go there to Pusat Sejahtera personally to make the appointment? Yeah, sorry. They have to come here personally and get the appointment. They have to see our medical staff who is in charge of medical checkup. I see. Okay, so meaning that student, in order for them to do the medical checkup, they have to be in the Pusat Sujahtra first, get the date, then on a signed date, then only they can do the medical checkup process. Yes, okay. correct. Understand. Um, can we skip right. X -ray, for can we X-ray for local student? No. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess um, most of the questions have been answered regarding the medical facilities. So basically what Dr. Sulo has mentioned is the facilities that are available to our students. Once you have registered, you have the opportunity to use all the medical facilities in USM. But please note that, that not everything can be covered. You need to refer to Pusat Sejahtera or for example, if you are in uh, engineering campus, you can refer to unit kesihatan or if you are in health campus, you can refer to uh, HUSM uh, to know what are the facilities uh, or the payment or the cost incurred if you are follow, I mean, following certain procedure, for example. Um, I guess for outpatient service, like if you having fever, you go to clinic, uh, there will be no charges, right, doctor? Sorry? For outpatient service, like the yes. having fever or they just want to have, uh, let's say they have diarrhea, they want to have um, certain... You mean for our Malaysian students? Malaysian and international for both now. Uh, yep. <laughs> so do they need to pay anything when they visit Pusat Sejahtera? For Malaysian students, it's covered. Okay. For international students, they have to pay. All right. So meaning that for local student, if you visit the uh, Pusat Sejahtera, you can get the medication for free for outpatient. Sorry, local students. Yeah, local student. Yeah, for international student, there will be uh, minimal charges imposed to you. So you can check with Pusat Sejahtera later uh, how much you have to pay for the uh, medication. All right, and then if let's say if you want to do um, medical checkup, of course, local or international, both are being 
uh, supposed to pay because 